Anybody ever repaired a light bulb? I'm about to. It still works. I'm going to fix it because that's the last tough bulb I got left. I'm going to open up a light bulb repair service, I think. Okay, a couple more things. I think I'm going to knock this uh, spare tire hanger out of there because uh, it's just going to gonna rattle and uh, I'm not going to carry the spare back here. I don't think I'll do that. I think I will just uh, put it in the back of the bed, mount it inside the bed. Uh, and what else was it I was going to talk about? Oh, you might notice on some of my uh, welds up here on this exhaust pipe that I knocked the welds down a little bit with a grinder and that's just something I almost never do. Uh, this one I didn't, but uh, a couple of them I did up here. Well, I mean, I did a little bit. I did a little bit on all of them because uh, uh, I'm not to try and grind them down and make them smooth or anything. I don't like to do that. On this old rig over here, um, I don't think I ground down any welds because it weakens your welds. And I don't like to do that, especially when I'm welding on the frame. But um, I ground these down a little bit, just enough. It was just an inspection. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any holes anywhere in my exhaust system. I had nothing I hate worse than an exhaust leak. I mean, that's almost as bad as having a couple of pop bottles rolling around in the seat. I remember that from my teenage years. <laughs> it's just a horrible sound. So it is an exhaust leak. I hate that. So I did uh, smooth them down a little just as just as an inspection. I was just making sure I didn't have any holes anywhere. Oh, by the way, there's my pipe coming out and I've got some tips to go in there and those will be shortened up a little bit probably. I mean, I want to get them a little bit past the tire, but I don't want them to stick out too far. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, gonna knock this thing down, this old uh, spare tire bracket and then look what my friend and good neighbor gave me. Yeah, a Chevrolet bumper to go on the back of this thing. Um, I posted on Instagram, uh, <laughs> when I put that Chevy bumper on the front, a Chevaholic <laughs> said he was having nightmares about me putting a Chevy bumper on a Dodge. So uh, when I got this one, I posted it on uh, Instagram, and I said, let the nightmares begin, because uh, it's a Chevy bumper, too. Uh, that's what it came off of. It's a, just a generic bumper, I guess, but it was mounted on Chevrolet. Anyway, the width on those uh, mounting brackets is just about right. Might have to modify them just a, just a tad, but uh, it's going to be a pretty good fit. So there's two places on this rig that has rust. Um, right there in the tailgate, it's pretty nasty there, you know, but... Um, the other place is on the rocker on the driver's side up there has got some rust uh, I'm gonna pound that door out a little bit on the bottom, but anyway just tinkering. That's about enough I just want to show you that I do have a rear bumper So that'll be going on probably next as soon as I get this bracket knocked out of there
Hey. What are you doing? Plead the fifth. Well, it is so horribly, horribly cold outside. I was gonna lay out in my bikini, but it's just too cold and the sun's already gone down, so I think I'll just go ahead and do something here in the shop. I think the little order of business tonight will be uh, to put these mud flaps on. You agree with that? I think that's a good idea? All right. So, um, I'm gonna clean these up. I'm gonna build some brackets to hang those. That'll be kind of a fun little project. But they're not, they're just real generic and basic. They don't even have holes drilled in them. So I'll make up some brackets and hang those and I think those will look pretty cool. Another little thing I have to do, have an issue. Oh, uh, the blue diamond here, affectionately known as BD, got a new water pump. And I noticed that it has a teensy weensy itsy bitsy teeny weeny tiny little water leak coming right out of the bottom of that hose. Right there. So I'm gonna drain the water down and pull that off and put a little bit of slick them on that hose inside there and I can get that sealed up, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I need to kind of clean up the engine compartment a little bit on this thing. I just, for some reason, I haven't found the energy to do that yet. Uh, I've got hours and hours and hours on the outside, but this will probably clean up pretty good in here, you know. Right. I'm gonna work on those mud flaps tonight. I still got to put the little foot throttle pedal in so I don't get my carpet all dirty when I put my big old quad hoppers in there. Anyway, fun stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to work on those mud flaps. I think I'll pick this thing up in the air and get after it. See ya. Hello there, dudes and dudettes and doodahs, everybody. Um, found some more old footage in the archives. I took a lot of video throughout the winter. I just didn't sit in there and for the hours it takes to edit and post videos uh, during the winter. So, uh, in, in this upcoming little clip, there was at one point where I said, you know, I just haven't found the energy to do that. And, um, that was probably a little indication of uh, what was happening with my body. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, I guess I sent the wrong signals the other day when I was talking about the thumbs down. I said, maybe if you tell me what it is you don't like, maybe I could make better videos. And uh, Everybody's going, oh, keep the, keep the banjo, keep the banjo. Well, I never said I was going to get rid of it. I'm not going to. Uh, I don't put it in every video. But uh, no, I wasn't. And... and and a lot of comments about don't don't worry about the thumbs down. Well, I don't they don't bother me. I don't care which way the thumbs are pointing. Um, I get paid either way. <laughs> Not a lot. It's just pennies per video. Probably enough. Maybe buys my welding wire, and that's a good thing, you know. But no, thumbs down don't bother me. I was just coming from a place where I was saying. If I knew what it was you didn't like, I might be able to change it. Not necessarily that I would, but I might be able to, depending on what it is. Um, and I would be open to a, a suggestion or constructive criticism, whatever. But anyway, that's enough about that. I don't care which way the thumb points. And uh, they don't bother me. So, uh, you know, I'm finding out a lot of things in life. Uh, it's just mind over matter, you know. Sometimes... Sometimes <laughs> it's just I don't mind and they don't matter. So uh, that's enough. But uh, got, a, got a little footage in the archives. <laughs> Took a lot of video over the winter, like I said. But uh, So I got some more coming up on that old Dodge. Uh, just, you know, things I was doing on it throughout, throughout the winter. Uh, little steps, but 
let's get to it. Let's take a look at it. And I got another video I'm going to put up later. Uh, a good friend of mine, a client for the past 36 years, uh, owns a local nursery here, and uh, done work for him all these years. He's got a little, he used to tell me, I think he told me it was a 59 Fiat, but I think this go around he said it was a 60, so and, uh, maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, two stroke turbo probably will know exactly what it is. He's into those micro cars. But anyway, I found that old footage, I forgot all about it. That was done last fall or last winter sometime. But it's a cute little car, it's been all restored, and uh, we'll throw that up after a while, maybe this weekend. Hey, y'all have a good, see ya.